Hello students. Today I'm going to talk about how to attach a shoulder rest or a blue sponge to your instrument. So either a violin or a viola. When you look inside your case, you should be able to see and find a shoulder rest and that could look like this. or a blue sponge. Now I haven't got a blue sponge here but you'll usually see them as a rectangular shape or a circular shape and it'll be soft and squishy just like a regular dish sponge. I've got a regular dish sponge here so I just want to show you that. It'll be a bit like this. Now you can even make your own shoulder rest by using one of these or something similar because it's nice and soft. But as you can see here, I've got um, some abrasive material on one side. So I'm going to cover it. I'll use a clean uh, rag. Any kind of rag will do. You just have to wrap your sponge in it and you can use that as your own sponge as well if you haven't got one. Alright so I'm going to open my case and we need to remember when we open our case that the case needs to be on a flat surface so don't open it in your lap where it can fall off easily. Always find a table or a bed or a sofa or even the floor is better than putting your instrument case on your lap to open it. Once you've got your instrument out of the case you might notice that there's an elastic band on your instrument. You may even have two elastic bands which is really great. I'm just going to talk about different parts of our instrument. So here in the body of the instrument, uh, you can see these side parts are called the C bout. And this part here is called the lower bout. So you can see that this elastic band is just slipped over the chin rest and it's just behind that. And I strap it over the lower part of the, um, <clears throat> the C-bout and I bring it down near the end button and I just strap it over the lower bout that way. And make sure if you only have one elastic band, make sure that it's on the side that your chin rest is on. If you have two elastic bands, I'll show you how to put the other one. So here I have a second elastic band and I'm going to strap that over the lower part of the C belt and just across the end button. So there you can see at the back I've got this kind of V shape and underneath that I'm going to slip this uh, covered dish sponge which is my new shoulder rest. So I'm just going to lean my instrument against me and slip the sponge through here. Now if you only have one, make sure that your sponge is on the side of your chin rest. If you have two, then you can slip it under both sides. Just like that. And now I've got a great shoulder rest. And I can hold my instrument in play position really easily and keep my posture really straight which is perfect. 
I'm going to show you another kind of shoulder rest. So I'm going to take off my homemade shoulder rest. And the shoulder rest that I use a lot is looks like this. And you can see there's some little feet on this shoulder rest and it screws tighter to make it the feet closer to the black part of the shoulder rest or it can screw further away. So you can decide what feels best if you want this to be taller or shorter. Okay, it's up to you. You can decide. And these little feet, they slip against the back and the lower bout part of your instrument. Okay, so you want to have a look at this shoulder rest and figure out which part will go against your shoulder. So there's the thick part and there's a thin part. Now you want to wear the shoulder rest against the lower bout like a frown shape, not a smiley shape. <laughs> that would be the wrong way. So make a frown with your shoulder rest and you want to just slip on the thick part on the side edge where your sh your chin rest is. So I'm going to put the feet against the back here, these little ridges, it just clips on there. And then you're going to get the other side and slip that over like this so it's nice and secure. You might have to make the feet closer together or further away. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So on this part of the instrument, you'll see that the feet can be detached by unscrewing this screw and making it closer or further away. So I'm going to unscrew mine now just to show you what it looks like. So I turn the screw lefty loosey to loosen it and take it off and there we are. So the foot is off. If I want to make it further away or bigger, then I put it on the screw hole that is furthest away. If I want to make it smaller, I do the same thing with that screw, okay? So you can work out if you need to make it smaller or larger if you have one of these shoulder rests. And then just carefully screw on the part that you need to to secure it. And just make sure, be gentle, be careful. These, uh, these shoulder rests can break, just like any part of your instrument. Be gentle and careful with it. Once you've attached your shoulder rest, no matter what kind you have, you can go to rest position sitting up nice and tall and then you can go to play position and hold your instrument up in the right way and be comfortable. <laughs>